Yeah, go for it, guys. Really, year two for you. What, what, what's the difference? Uh, uh, how's it been different for you from a year ago today? I say I'm in a you know a, a much bigger leadership role. I say on the team because um, when I came in last year, I was really like a first year vet player, but. I really didn't have a leadership role because you had a, all those guys that were older and that was here previously. So I'll say that's the biggest difference, being a leader this year. Did anything last year that happened surprise you as, from a football standpoint? Um, like In what context? Just like, was it harder than you thought it was going to be? Was it easier stepping up from Coastal? Or? i say it was it was a, a little harder, you know, because, you know, I was – I was in the same place for so long, you know, getting so comfortable and then having to, you know, come to UNC. It was like a, you know, a big change, you know, around new people, around new coaches, uh, you know, a new atmosphere, new environment. It was definitely harder. You have a tear in your practice jersey right here. Was that torn when you put it on today or did that happen? Yeah, man, they, they didn't want to give me a new jersey. They wouldn't let me rock the old one still, so. <laughs> are, they, are they trying to put a chip on your shoulder or something? I guess, man, I guess. Is it going to work? Yeah, I'm, I still got a chip on my shoulder, man. I always will. I always love to put my shoulder. Well, you're really the only, I guess, returning starter, uh, you know, on that line. It looked like at one point, uh, Clemens was like, you know, having you kind of instruct the drill or instruct yeah. the technique or something like that. What's the dynamic kind of been, you know, trying to get everybody on the same? I know it's really the first day out here, but getting everybody on the same page. And, and um, you know, I have to just lead by example, you know, uh, me, me being the only returning starter, you know, uh, I, I just know I need to lead, lead up front and lead by example. And that's the biggest thing that can, uh, you know, set the example for those guys that's uh, looking up to me. Willie, really, last year you talked about that chip. Is it still the same chip, or have you maybe added some some stuff to there? To um, I say it's still the same chip. You know, I still have, you know, a chip on my shoulder regardless, you know, just because of my height. And that's just how I play with a chip on my shoulder. That's all I know. Willie, really, how far do you think this – Offensive line can improve. How, how far can you take this? Obviously, I mean, this, I'm looking at these numbers. A lot of who are these guys? Uh, this man, I we mean, got a, <laughs> we got a, a lot of new faces, man. We got a uh, Howard. Uh, he's he's huge. He's like six eight, three thirty. Man, you guys got the twin towers. On yeah, there. yeah. We got a uh, Howard Big Trey. I call him Monster, man. That, he's gonna be a great guy, a great a great player. Um, we got we got an Austin Blasky uh, transfer. He just transferred in. We got a couple of transfers uh, that's going to come in uh, after spring, so we got a lot of new faces, and I feel like this we can we can really be you know take us all the way. Yeah, I was going to say from day this is day one. Yeah. Like how much how much improvement do you think obviously needs to happen, and how mm -hmm. much improvement do you see uh, you guys capable of making? Um, I feel like we can you know you know take that big step. I feel like um, now you know we got a lot of guys that's trying to step up and, you know, make that next step. Because, you know, uh, they, they really have opportunity to play last year because, you know, we had all the older guys playing. But I feel like now, and I feel like just off today, I feel like we have, we're going to take a big step to, you know, get ready for the season. With Drake gone and Omari and the player that he is, do you look mm -hmm. for this team to maybe run the ball a little bit more? Oh, is, for is sure. Is that a smile on your face? And that's the motto, man. The motto is run the damn ball, so that's what we do. That's the motto. You know, church mob, we're going to run the ball. We're going to run the ball all game. We have the best running back in the ACC. Best running back in the nation, in my in my honest opinion, and I feel like getting the ball, you know, we block block up front, know our assignment, and then you know have that effort and attitude, and have that intent, and I feel like you know we can go a long way. All you linemen like that, that you want to. <laughs> yeah, hey, that's the motto, man. <laughs> so <laughs> Willie, how? I know this is you know day one again, but you know this new quarterback, no drink man, you know, and all that. So how do you think all of that is going to come up, come together? And all that? I feel like it's going to bring the best out of everybody, you know, like, uh, you know, Connor getting uh, getting his uh, start in the ball game. You know, that was just the beginning. You know, uh, him and Max are going to have, you know, a great battle to see who's going to be QB1. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy for both of them. I feel like uh, they're both great quarterbacks, and I feel like they both have great potential. With all the newness in the O-line room, is there a different energy right now than maybe this time last year where there were a lot of, veteran and trench guys in that room? I say, I feel like uh, we're more hungry. Like, a lot of guys getting their shot, and I feel like uh, they're hungry. A lot of competition. Yeah, for sure. Every every position, even though, even for my position, you know, people in my position. So with that, how is the chemistry, the off-field chemistry with you guys? I feel like it's it's, it's still there, and, then, uh, you know, working it, you know, because most of the guys are new, some of the guys are new. We have a freshman that just came in, you know, and I feel like uh, everybody's having good chemistry, everybody's talking, you know, being friends, you know, talking junk to each other, and that's, and that's just how we do. <laughs> Is it kind of weird you feel like you're an old-timer here? Like, you know, you're evil, <laughs> you've only been here like 15 months? Man, I, it's, I, it's getting to me, man. It's getting to me, honestly, bro. It's my uh, last spring, so 
Man, I just feel like so. I feel so old. I'm 22. <laughs> I just turned 22. So. Happy birthday. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. You're welcome. Appreciate it, man. So, But you even be here. Just, yeah, I feel like so an old change. head, bro. I, last year, last year I had some grace because you had Corey. Corey's the oldest right. guy. Right. He had uh, Ed. Ed, it was like 24. Yep. So it was like I had some grace. But now, man, I'm like the oldest person. So, so do you still like the spring? Because you talked to some old offensive linemen, and they, by the time they were seniors, they hated spring ball. You seem like you love it. Uh, you know, I just, I just, I just like love, love the grind, and I'm just really just happy, you know, to just see everybody, you know, grow and just, you know, f- you know, find their potential and you know, maximize their potential. I'm just so happy to, you know, see the transfers coming in, you know, stepping up. I'm just so happy just to see the team, you know, just growing. Coach Brown's talked a little bit about. Um, how there have been some changes in, in off-season conditioning and some mm-hmm. nutrition and all of that. From your perspective, what, what's different this year and how you guys have, have done some things compared to last year? Or, or does it feel like it's any different? Oh, it does, definitely does feel different. Um, like, we, we was like implemented mat drills uh, on Fridays and stuff like that. So I felt like that, you know, was tough. It, it made a grind for us, you know, instead of it being like an easy Friday like most programs do. You know, we, we uh, come up here at 5 in the morning, 6 in the morning, and we're doing mat drills as a team. I feel like that is, you know, pushing us and making us grind. So for those who don't know what mat drills are, can you explain a little bit about what that is? Say you got, uh, you know, like the... Uh, you got the L drills. It's really just like comp- it's like competitive drills and just like rounds, like to eight stations, like super competitive. You know, uh, you know they're uh, marking us down who wins. Um, you know, it's it's very competitive. And I'll say like one drill. We had like a prowler station. That's a uh, Coach Clements drill. We got two guys. You know, pushing the sleds. You know, see, seeing who's gonna uh, win, basically. Is there a scoreboard for that, Willie? Yeah, they, they keep score somewhere. Yeah. like the total. Yeah, like. <laughs> They do, yeah. Okay. So who won? Uh, one time I went up, I went up against Ritzy and he, he, he kicked my. Ass. <laughs> 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 yeah, Ritzy, man, Ritzy, he 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 uh, he whooped me one day. I ain't gonna lie, he he got the best of me one day, for sure. Aside from him, what have you seen from the defensive line? Because those guys are. <laughs> man, today, man, today, those guys, they were after it. I ain't gonna lie, like they had. I like how they brought the energy there and they brought the intensity. On the first day, I felt like that's what we need, especially as a, you know, trenches. That's what we need as a trenches. Who's going to bring the intensity? Who's going to, you know, bring the best out of each other? And I feel like that's what we need. Well, I wanted to ask you about uh, Travion Green. You mentioned him uh, a few minutes ago. Yeah. Where do you kind of see his game at, you know, right now? Because he's, you know, a returning yeah. younger guy. Yeah. Where do you kind of see his game at right now? Man, I feel like, man, Trey, you know, I feel like experience. You know, he hasn't really had the experience, you know, um, but I feel like once he gets that experience, I feel like this spring is going to be big for him because just getting that experience down, you know, just, you know, running with the blue, you know, I feel like because with the blue, that all the pressure's on, you know, so if you can, um, if he can withstand that pressure, you know, and, and do what he has to do, I feel like he's going to be a special player because he has the size. Yeah, so I was, I was going to say, too, like, I mean, you mentioned the size. I guess what are some of his, like, you know, strengths as a, a player, you know, technique-wise, whatever, and then just work – where can he, you know, go? Like, how far can he take? Him? I feel like man, he can go to the NFL and you know have a good, good career because I mean, he has the size, you know. And I feel like when you have the size, you know, the world's in your hands. Honestly, he just has to, you know, put in the work. What kind of element, Willie, has has Austin brought to this group? A guy's obviously been in the Georgia program for so yeah. long, and I mean, he's certainly accustomed to winning at the highest level, yeah. but. I know he hasn't played as much as he wanted to. Yeah. I mean, is there a hunger there that you see from him? Just what yeah. what sort of element do you see him bring into this group? I definitely see a hunger there. Uh, he and he knows how to win. You know, he's he's been a part of the Georgia Georgia program for I think all of his career, and exactly. I feel like yeah. he's bringing that he's bringing that winning culture over here. So I feel like uh, he's definitely hungry, and he's definitely uh, been working really hard on the off season. And you know, today was a, a good testament. Today he's been working hard today, and I feel like uh, just you know over the over these next couple of weeks, I feel like he's going to be a big major part for the program in the fall. Good time does, for two more. Does he have the Corey Gaynor sort of leadership uh, gene in him? Because we've heard that that he when he got here, he was already mm-hmm. trying to sort of yeah. like be that type of guy. Yeah, he's definitely. Uh, I won't say he has the Corey uh, Gaynor because he's himself, but I say he definitely brought that leadership role with him. And I feel like uh, him being older, I feel like he he uh, stepped up and he he did this. He's he's doing his thing. Willie, what's your personal focus for spring ball? What are you trying to work on? Um, really, just you know, uh, get you know, get my technique down. You know, uh, you know, just focus in at the position, and you know, uh, and lead these guys. You know, lead the younger guys, lead the team because I don't have to. I'm in the bigger leadership role, so you know, just maximize. You know, being verbal, 
with uh, my communication and having effective communication. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Thanks, bro. Thanks for saying Thank you.